Here are three videos that Howard Schubner uses to show his patients how the brain can create an illusion that's very easy to follow. And the examples show how you can get two versions of the situation so that you might be able to apply the same uh, rationale or same uh, counter argument to your brain in the presence of pain. So it's So Howard Tubiner uh, presents a few different ideas to his patients, and these are his three favourites to, to see if he can illustrate how the brain uh, takes information and makes its best guess of what it thinks uh, is happening. And it does this with pain all the time. So these are three non-pain related things that get you to look at things from different perspectives, and you're almost seeing if you can uh see something that your brain isn't seeing i'll give you these examples now so i'll just share my screen with you so here's the first one and this is a rotating mask illusion so tell have a look at this and i'll just talk you through what's happening <laughs> So you're seeing the face of the mask forwards and you should be seeing the back of the mask now and lots of people just see the front of the mask again so the brain is seeing the front of the mask which is normal because face has come forward but when it should be seeing the back of the mask it anticipates seeing the front of the mask again. So that's one example. That's one example of how you should be seeing something different, uh, expecting consciously to expect something different and your brain is giving you what it thinks is the right idea. So let's have a look at another one. Uh, I'll just share another screen. Now this one is um, checkerboard. I want you to look at A and B, and A and B are two, what apparently look like two different coloured squares. And when they're in this arrangement of perspective, when the cylinder's there and the grid's there and the uh, perspective of, of the 3D imagery, it, it means that the brain places uh, distance on a, what essentially is a 2D image. And because it's placing distance on it, it changes the colors. So you uh, look at this screen now and they look, A looks different to B, but when you actually take away the other context uh, in a different, totally different way, you can see that they are exactly the same colors. And that's the brain. <laughs> so they are both gray in my eyes. As soon as I do that, A and B are different shades because the context is different. So the brain is giving me a different output based on the context. And it does it with pain too. That's what I'm seeing. That's what you're seeing. And that's what happens. <laughs> it's an illusion. Okay, the last one. This one is an auditory one. So listen to this. And tell me what you hear, or uh, report what you hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people hear Yanni, yeah, yeah. and some people hear Laurel. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I've done this before, um, when I've done this before, I heard Yanni first, and then I heard Laurel, and then I couldn't hear Yanni again. So you can look at those uh, illusions again yourself. But the three small examples of how uh, it isn't everything isn't as as it seems. You have to look twice, and even trying to look past the illusion sometimes can't see it. Your brain is so powerful that it presents what it truly believes is the right interpretation based on uh, all of the learning and context and everything it's taking in at the moment. Pain is the same thing. We think it's damaged, and sometimes we culturally. Um, forced to look for things structurally we might find things structurally but is it the context in which we experience the pain that's more relevant rather than where we feel in it i hope those three examples are um, helpful just to make you uh, just to illustrate how the brain can trick you and it might be tricking you with your pain